Igreem, representing the Department of Robotics. She is going to talk about safe and efficient physical human robot interaction. Welcome. Hello everyone, my name is Aigirum Nurbaeva. Today I'd like to discuss about physical human robot interaction, shortly PHRI. Have you ever wondered how robots, particularly robot manipulators, work nowadays? So imagine there is a robot which needs to complete pick and place task. So basically it needs to complete pick and point uh, I'm sorry, point to, from point to point motion in a fixed path and there is a human is working in the same space. So there might be a situation when the human comes close to the robot. In the such situations, the robot has to stop in order to ensure safe interaction because safety is a key aspect in PHRI. So there is also interesting safety standards. One of them is called speed and separation monitoring, shortly SSM, in which the, max, in which the maximum allowable speed of the robot depends on the distance between human and the robot. If the human comes close to the robot, the robot needs to decrease its, its speed. Also, it has to stop when the human reaches the robot. So we thought, is there any ways if the, uh, hum, uh, if the robot could change its trajectory instead of following the fixed path in order to avoid the possible collisions with the human? So our team members found out that there is a controller called Model Predictive Controller, shortly MPC, in which the robot can redefine its trajectory in real time. So in order to design that kind of a system, I needed to write lots of equations, including system dynamics, constraints, including SSM constraints. However, when I give all of the equations to the MPC controller, it showed like it couldn't solve the um, it, it couldn't solve the equations in a given time so we couldn't acquire the smooth actions of the robot in order to overcome this issue we needed to implement imitation learning algorithms so it means we use neural networks to uh, uh, use them to be uh, imitate the behavior of the mpc controller so basically there is a robot it, it doesn't know anything about the system. It has to learn how to act the environment, how to uh, complete its pick and place task motion, and it needs to learn how to avoid uh, possible collisions with the human. So uh, in that uh, situation, NPC is served as an expert. So after several thousands of iterations of training, we found out that the neural network based controller can outperform NPC controller solutions. So we hope that our algorithm will be used in the industry future because it is efficient and safe. Thank you for your attention.